Welcome, friends, to Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. We bring you the greatest female voices in the music industry. From the artists, songwriters, and producers, to managers and executives, and all the women who make the music industry what it is today. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, friends, to another episode of Crazy Women Country. I'm Donna. And I'm Paula. And today we have Carly Phillips with us. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm really excited to chat to you both. No worries. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you. So, and let me just mention, for those who don't know who you are, you are of the duo Silver Sparks. That's it. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Well remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, 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 the important question is, actually, you can do this for both, the band and yourself. Who is Carly Phillips? Who is Carly Phillips? Uh, well, I'm obviously one half of Silver Spark. Um, the lady in the band, so therefore the boss, I guess. And uh, <laughs> um, Correct. <laughs> yeah, if you don't say yeah. like that. But actually, <laughs> obviously, as well as being a songwriter, musician, a singer, um, I'm very much an animal lover. Uh, I've got a, a dog which who I adopted from the shelter. Um, so I'm a bit of a softie when it comes to, to animals and things like that. But yeah, I guess definitely music is who I am. I, 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 I can't imagine a time when I wouldn't do it. So um, kind of, yeah, it's, it's definitely who I am. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. And the animal part is even better. So that fits in with the craziness of us. Oh, and I forgot to say her name is Taylor. So hopefully Brownie points oh. to that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so what kind of puppy is Taylor? She is a border collie, so a sheepdog. Um, she's oh. actually 13 now. I adopted her quite a while ago, um, but she's still doing really great. And yeah, best decision I ever made. I couldn't oh. be married to that. So, yeah. They're awesome. Adults are just awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing like a no, nothing else. They're the best. Yes, we both have rescues, so yeah, uh, yeah, good and good company. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That's why Someone sometimes I'm like I have. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We build, we build up in numbers, and dogs are not They're little. They're tiny. So you know, the tiny little ones, you have to get multiple to equal one big dog, right? <laughs> so that's that's how it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that theory. I have. Well, I have two. No, I've got one two hour cross, so that's a little one. Then a little, another one's a little bit bigger than she is, and then two sort of pedencos. So those two are like medium sized ish. So, yeah, well, yeah. Donna, if we just put them all on top of each other, you'll have a German yeah. Shepherd. <laughs> <you>? Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Perfect family. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. Tell us about uh, your your recent release. Uh, I know that was back in November um, last time. Tell us w- what inspired the writing of it. Uh, so, yeah, as you say, last time was released in November. Um, I guess the concept about it was, actually it was written during the pandemic. Um, and, you know, um, I know it was slightly different in the US and other places, but over here in the UK, we were literally locked down. You know, uh, as musicians, we couldn't go to work. You know, everywhere was closed, all the bars, everything was closed. And it was a time where we just felt really powerless um, and just kind of that feeling of everything being out of control and your head spinning and and just completely overwhelmed. Um, And so that kind of concept, the lyrics, um, you know, days are twisting around me like a tornado. That was one of the first lines we actually wrote. Um, literally because Tornado was a head spin and we we built the rest of the song around that. So kind of the imagery of, of the storm. And I guess at the time, really, it wasn't um, about a relationship going wrong. We didn't actually write it for that. But then, as you've seen, probably the official music video in that it is kind of a breakup of relationship. You see those uh, warning signs. You know, we kind of say um, the clouds moving in you know, um, the rain starting to fall, things like that. Um, and we just knew it was something that everybody could relate to. It's a universal thing. Everybody's been in a situation where you've seen the warning signs. You you feel it in your gut. You know, you feel this isn't right. Um, yeah. Got to get and go. And so, yeah, it's not just, you know, kind of a 
a, a loving relationship, kind of a, a partner relationship. It could be anything, a job, anything toxic, yeah. anything you just, it's not right and you're really feeling you got, you have to get away. So that that's how we wrote mm. it. It's awesome. It's a great song, absolutely great song. So where was the video recorded? Was it recorded in the UK or...? Well, yeah, great question. I mean, one of the things that is really important to us, obviously, you can tell from my accent, I'm British. So myself and Matt and the band were British, but we play country music and it's a huge love of ours. But one of the most important things to us was really remaining authentic. Um, so we went to the to just a country pub in the British countryside. Um, and, you know, we were talking about it and we a few ideas and we thought, oh, maybe we're going to Mustang, you know, that will that will make it kind of really country. And then we kind of said, but, you know, that's not that's not our truth kind of thing, being British. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we whilst we do play country music, we also are British and we just needed it to be authentic. So, yeah, it was done in the British mm -hmm. countryside. Um, you've seen, you know, kind of sat on a tailgate playing the guitar in mm -hmm. beautiful field with the sunset and uh, yeah that's we love that video I mean it took a lot of work <laughs> they were you know what the weather is like in the UK as well it had to be cancelled that's what I was thinking how did you get the one sunny day yeah, oh my God. <laughs> honestly we must have rescheduled three or four times because you look at the weather the weather's great it's great and you wake up in the morning and it's just you know so yeah. some of the most stressful times because it's not just us you have to then you know, get the, the rest of the band in and check with the pub and do the, and get all the extra, oh my God, everything. But I'm, we're so proud of, we managed to make it happen. So yeah, we're pretty tough now. It's an amazing video. Absolutely amazing video. I do love it. It's very good. Thank you. So very good. And I'm so glad you got to capture the sunny day that, you know, one yeah. in the UK. The one we get, <laughs> one sunny day per year. <laughs> <laughs> you captured it perfectly. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> So tell me, who are some of the women that inspire you musically? Oh, that is such a good question. Um, I guess I, I have so many. Um, you know, kind of as you grow up, you get older, you find your own kind of influences. I guess early on, like everybody, you're influenced by your family. That's the music that you hear. And and I have great memories of hearing my dad, who was a huge Patsy Cline fan, just kind of a staple you know was your cheating heart i fall to pieces obviously crazy um she's got you love so many of them and i think one of my earliest memories of singing was actually singing i fall to pieces and as i mentioned earlier my family are welsh so we're big singers we're known for for being yeah. singers and i would get dragged up to family karaoke and, and the song was always i fall to pieces so definitely that was where my love of country music started with patsy but, you know, getting a little bit older, kind of, I remember Whitney as well, Whitney Houston, just hearing that voice just blew me away. And then, of course, kind of people like Shania Twain, uh, Shania especially for me, because, you know, she really made it in the country world despite being Canadian. She wasn't from the US. Um, so that kind of resonated with me a bit as well. And she's just an absolute goddess, isn't she, Shania? You know, just... Yeah. She's she's been to Helen back as well, and I find that really inspiring too. Definitely, definitely. And she broke all the rules. Exactly. She was the one with the short t shirts and everything else. She was showing yes. off her midriff, and that wasn't really country music. But no. yeah, she broke all the rules and still and still made a huge name for herself. So yeah. And I love, love her for that. I love a badass woman as well. Like there is nothing, um, maybe because I wouldn't be that brave. <laughs> So, <laughs> a badass woman is so inspiring to me. That's awesome. Absolutely. I have to ask you, you yes. named your dog Taylor. Is that actually after Taylor Swift or was it just the name that came with the dog? Or um, It's not after Taylor Swift. I'd, I'd love to say it was, but that wouldn't be true. But what it is, it is music related. So Matt, the other half of the duo, um, very early on when we met, one of the acoustic or his main acoustic guitar is a Taylor guitar. Mm -hmm. Um, and oh, okay. yeah, so it was kind of up there with a few names and went to, to a doctor and called a few. I think we had a few crazy names. I don't know, maybe Caffrey's or something. And the only one she came to was Taylor. And yeah, so it stuck. It stuck. The rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's very cool. <laughs> That's definitely awesome. <clears throat> 
so, so okay so let me ask the question here so obviously patsy klein you know and and, and the breaking the rules thing so in the 90s i mean and, and i'm saying this because that's where i grew up mainly that was the one thing with women, I think, in the industry, as you mentioned, with Shania. And I mean, not just, you know, and I, I, okay, we can say another Canadian, Elena Morissette, right? But yeah. I mean, even the women in the US, and, and I don't know as much in the British, you know, and things like that. But I mean, that's where you saw all of these women, you know, where where they said that in country music overall, like, you know, women were at like 30 some percent, which is which was true back then, because, you know, they're breaking the rules, they weren't afraid to write differently than anything that was on the market or how it should be, right? Um, so that freedoms and, and yeah, I think that was a great time period for women in general. Uh, and, and, you know, just uh, Lainey Wilson just recently, you know, she's just won Entertainer of the Year, but she's the first one to win that since 2011. So whilst we're saying things are a bit better and stuff, there's still a lot to do, you know, for, for women to, to get more of the limelight. So we're definitely not naming that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. And then women are still below these- 10% on playlists so yeah yeah shocking isn't it so mm-hmm. shocking we, we've went back well, since the-, the 90s sorry go ahead yeah no it's right when you look at these festivals and every headliner is male yeah c2c this year next year is all male. okay you've got a female artist there i think there's about four in the three days or something yeah. stupid but they're not headlining it's all men why and you know what i mean the okay. women they've got there are just as good to headline i don't know why well i, I don't um, I don't know if this is, might be slightly controversial and I'm probably going to get told off for this, but I Never. feel like perhaps women have to be more creative as well than, than men, perhaps. Certainly somebody like Miranda Lambert keeps reinventing herself, you know, um, yes. whereas some of the guys I see, um, maybe not so much is probably the best way to say yeah. it. Yeah, you know, I think women really, really have to, yeah, much, be much more creative, I guess, is the best way to explain They have to keep pushing their boundaries, don't they, where yeah. men can just seem to flow through. It doesn't matter how they look or how they act. They can just carry on where women have to be so careful with how they look, what they do, mm-hmm. how they keep moving forward. It's, 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 it's two it's very an industry. different worlds. Yeah, it's, it's, unfortunately, it's still an industry standard in most of the industry. It's, it's, yeah. it's sad. Um, it is. It's still that 1950s mentality that uh, only men make money, which is why women aren't played back to back on most radio stations and blah, blah, blah. But still that 19, I hate to say 1950s mentality, but it really is. It's, it's sad. It's, yeah. you know, when you no. think barriers are being broken, it's like all of a sudden, you know, like I said, 90 is a good example of that. And then it's like kind of flipped backward to, yeah. you know, you know, putting all the money, putting all the money into the guys, in other words. So, yeah. 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 It's frustrating. Very frustrating. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. It's not a good place to be, but we need to, we need to just keep pushing women forward and we will break through again. Because That's it. we're too stubborn not to. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> just we're Absolutely. too stubborn not to break through. So, yeah. You know, going back yeah, just a moment ago when you asked me about um, influences as well, <laughs> I guess, this isn't country, but I remember being maybe 10 or 12 or something. The Spice Girls came along, you know, in the UK. And man, these mm. girls were all about girl power and five mm. individual women who had each other's backs. And, you know, so, I think I do see a lot of the time perhaps women are pitted against each other. And I think we could very much have a bit more girl power in our lives. So, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's the problem. Agree. Men don't seem to be pitted against each other so much. Women, it seems to be a you know, we yeah. have to fight against each other when we don't need to. And I think with the, the spy skills, you're right. Whether you liked him or not, yeah. I was not a fan, you were still behind him because <laughs> okay. it was five women and you were like, yes, just do this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, I just want you to know that I'm having Spice Girl songs running through my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing no matter if you're a fan or not you still know the song that's it and you're going to be cursing me tomorrow because wannabe will be going through your head <laughs> you're like oh, Matt, carly damn it <laughs> your fault. you'll be getting horrible text messages what was that all about <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well would you like to do our crazy questions now I would love to. I have been looking forward to this for ages. <laughs> Wonderful. And I promise we won't get arrested yet. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the reason why I came. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's all fun again. No. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay. 
Let's do this. Are you ready, Donna? Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Tell you, you start. Favorite type of transport. Train. Okay, cool. I love the train. <laughs> Train's great. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I am right-handed. <laughs> um, favorite sporting event. Oh, such a good question. Um... Okay, going back to the Welsh thing, I love rugby. Uh, so a rugby World Cup. Um, I do love the Olympics, though. What I love about the Olympics is you get to see loads of sports, which you never normally get to see. And so I'm just yeah. mesmerised by all this stuff and all these countries and, you know, everything. So, yeah, I, th I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's awesome. I love that, Elsa. Cool. <laughs> okay, finish this line. Today, your favourite song is? Oh... Today, my favorite song is. Oh, I'm going to say, OK, so I recently heard Lainey Wilson's song. I think she recorded it a couple of years ago, but it's called Christmas Cookies. And that song has been going around in my head for days. So I'm going to say Lainey's Christmas Cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Good choice. <Perfect. laughs> I you. like that one. Yeah. Um, if your life was a reality show, what would it be called? <laughs> hot mess perhaps <laughs> <laughs> I love these names they're great hot mess <laughs> that's awesome oh, um, tell us is what awesome. is your game plan for zombie apocalypse oh my god well I really love food so I would have to find somewhere you know like with just loads of food at a restaurant or somewhere that hadn't been broken into yet and hide under the tables. Um, and I would have my dog with me and I'm quite the planner. So I already have little doggy boots <laughs> just so she can travel with me. And yeah, so I guess I would just ride out eating loads of food if I could find it. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely a crazy country woman. That's sure. <laughs> okay. So back to doggy boots. Okay. So, so nothing, do, nothing that's going to save my life, really. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's all good. So, so the doggy boots. Now, does Taylor try to 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 you know do that whole foot thing where they try to get oh, it off their their yeah. foot? I mean, my my dog Lucy does that. She's hysterical. I uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She she kind of rears up like a horse and kind of <laughs> jumps around, and it's amazing. Actually, <laughs> I bought the boots just for that. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. I love that. <laughs> I love that. We need videos of these. We need videos of these. We can put it on oh, the website. Cool. Oh, yeah. I'll have to put your, your Taylor. I'll put my Lucy on there. I have a couple of videos on TikTok somewhere. So, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'm just going to get a few more from somewhere else. That's the thing. Yeah. That'd be quite funny. Uh, okay. Um, what emoji do you use the most? Uh, you know the one where you kind of put your hands on your face and go, oh, that one. That was definitely the one I used the most. And, and hopefully that was a good representation. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Yeah. Competition, couldn't we? Who does the best emoji? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very cool. <laughs> um, okay, so tell me, if I called you up and said, Carly, mm -hmm. I need help hiding a dead body. Do you know a good place? Oh yeah, I'd be your girl. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's, um, there's some woods not too far from here. I've already thought of it in my head. If somebody, you know, is this? I've, I've planned that more than I've planned the zombie apocalypse. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, so I can call you then for that for sure. I'm your girl. That's it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, what do you do? Help you relax apart from music. So away from music, what do you do to relax? I love to travel. Um, I'm a big kind of if I I don't know, there's something about the ocean, it just calms me. And um, you know, I really love kind of sports like F1, so motorsport I really enjoy as well. Um, obviously I mentioned Taylor, so going for walks with her. Um I'm definitely I am definitely a country girl, as in if I go to the city, the city's great. There's loads of things mm -hmm. you want to do, but 
very quickly I'm kind of craving some trees and, you know, kind of the open sky and things. So, yeah, traveling is definitely a big, big deal for me. That's where I really kind of, you know, rebalance myself and, and kind of – and you know what? I find that when I do do – that kind of thing and go traveling I'm actually a lot more creative afterwards as well because it okay. kind of I find traveling kind of gives you new perspective um yeah so yeah it's really good to reset and then kind of come back and actually you see things very differently maybe a song I've been struggling with and things all of a sudden it comes so travel's definitely my thing awesome I love that wonderful um so tell me tell me something on your bucket list my bucket list you know the first thing that came into my head when you said that was to go to the great barrier reef um because like i said i absolutely love the ocean um i'm an animal lover and animal and nature lover so snorkeling things like that would just oh that would just That'd be awesome. yeah mm-hmm. That'd but be there's thankful. so much of the world to see so you know there is mm-hmm. <laughs> um well i can't read if you owned a bar what would you call it? Good question. Oh, this is such a good question. <laughs> I would probably have to call it Taylor's. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's, I love it. <laughs> you can have pictures of, of Taylor all around the bar. That'd be cool. Yeah, and can you imagine how many people would come to see that? Because everybody likes dogs. So. They would. And maybe Hopefully. we could have like a doggy disco or something. But not oh, too loud. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. too loud, yeah. yeah. For the dogs. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. I love that. I love that idea. <laughs> well, I have some good homemade biscuit recipes. I'll bring those. Uh, so we'll make some homemade biscuits oh, for the dogs. You, you know, the, <laughs> the humans can eat whatever. You know, they're humans. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs are fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are fine. We're cool. That's I love it. that. Oh, okay, so I'm going to go back to the food thing since you mentioned food, you know. So tell me, what's the worst pizza topping? Oh, pineapple, of course. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> one of the yeah. pineapple haters, okay. Yes. So I know, we're, we're going to have that debate one day. We're going to have the pineapple <laughs> haters and the pineapple lovers. It's it's one or the other. It's like there's no in between. Yeah. No, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. It's, it's like, like Marmite, Mar- Mar- isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very, very British thing. Do you have Marmite in the States? I don't think so. No, because in Australia they have Vegemite, right? But I they don't... have Vegemite, which I think is a, it's, it's a lie, but I don't know. Marmite is kind of this thick, sticky, hot stuff. I don't even know what it is. No, me neither. People, you either love it or you hate it. There's not a happy medium. I'm firmly in the hate side of Marmite. Oh, I... I love it. Do you like Twiglets? <laughs> Do I like twiglets? Oh yeah, twiglets are great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but twiglets are a bit marmitey. You know, I'm going to have to go away and test this theory. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to go to the UK to try some foods now. <laughs> I'm going to have to send you some twiglets so you know what twiglets. Are. You the same sort of things as marmite, I think. I'll send you some twiglets and some marmite, and you can compare. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you can be getting a food parcel very shortly. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> what scares you the most? I don't mean like failure. Is there some like animal or darkness or something freaky like that? Spiders jumping out of a plane, you know, the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Snakes on the plane, you know. <laughs> Snakes on the plane, yeah, that's even better, right? Snakes on the plane. <laughs> reason to jump out of a perfectly good airplane i'm pretty sure like if there are big no, spiders like from definitely. australia those big spiders yeah. i'm not like jumping out of the plane i'm pretty sure <laughs> I, mean, I, try to, I mean the obvious stuff people say snakes but actually they're not that scary and sharks well you've just got jaws to blame for that you know the, the <laughs> likelihood of getting it. but um I guess I went to Kenya a few years back and in the palm trees above the pool, there's these spiders that are called bird eating spiders and they're about the size of a dinner plate. Now, I wasn't afraid that they were going to eat me, but when you're sunbathing and you're lying there on your sun lounger and these massive spiders are just there. Yeah, I think I certainly didn't sleep, you know, fall asleep next to the pool on that holiday. That's for sure. That, <laughs> that scared me. Yeah. <laughs> 
I can imagine that. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna be staring up at them, like you know, can I can I get like a water gun or something to shoot it? Because yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need something. That's it. <laughs> it comes near me, I'm gonna be like, get away, you're like a water gun or, or nerf gun or whatever, you know. <laughs> One of those giant water pistols that you just pump up and go. Like, <laughs> super soakers. There we go. Super soakers. You know those. Yeah, yeah. super soaker. That's the one. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what does twenty twenty four look like? Uh, more songwriting, more releases, shows. Yeah, all of the above. Um, so I mean, we're constantly writing anyway, um, but. Yeah, we're going to be having a second second single kind of to, to back up the last time. You know, it's possibly one of the hardest things. We kind of feel like we've come out all guns blazing and now we have to, you know, bring in, bring another track and, and yeah, build on that side of things, which is going to be awesome. But we definitely want to play some festivals if we can, um, definitely live shows um, and just keep building and, you know, um, yeah, just keep writing music and and keep going and going. I mean, at the moment, we're, I'm really pleased with how it's been going. We're getting more followers every day. And I kind of feel like it's small steps. You know, you really need to kind of pay your dues and, and keep yeah. pushing and pushing. I don't think anything is really going to happen overnight. But yeah, that's what we're looking for. So just more small steps, I guess. Well, what you love. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Good to me. Well, you are welcome back anytime. It's been a pleasure having you on today, Carly. Thank you so much for having me. That has been hilarious. And uh, yeah, <laughs> really good questions. You made me think and I'm on the spot as well. <laughs> ne next time you can bring back um, your, your your Silver Spark partner and then bring we can back. test him. That would be even funnier. Oh, by, can we please absolutely do that? Because I would love to see his face with some of those questions. That would be brilliant. That would be very cool because <laughs> you'll be prepared and he'll be like, what the hell? Yeah, what? No, no, no preparing him at all. It has to be. Oh, you know, well, <laughs> has well to be we'll try to find some better questions, questions, like you know, spiders or snakes. Which do you prefer? Like something weird like that. Yeah, no, he would yeah. love. That. He would love that. <laughs> we, need to, we need to do it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Thank you That'd so much awesome. for having me. That has been absolutely brilliant. I've had so much fun. <laughs> no worries. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you, absolutely. And thank you, friends, for joining us for another episode. Be sure to check out the links in the description, and we'll see you next time on Crazy Women Country. Have a great day. Adios. If you enjoyed today's episode of Crazy Women Country, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button for new interviews weekly. And thank you, friends, for joining us today on Crazy Women Country, where women's voices matter. <laughs>